We're here today to familiarize the uh, academic side of colleges and universities, letting them know what our plans are for the upcoming legislative session, telling them about uh, our response to Senator Hewitt's Act 619, and also challenging them that there need to be changes made in uh, public education here, higher education in Louisiana right now. Uh, we're facing severe budget cuts, so we have to do our share, figure out how we can keep and uh, support our colleges the best. There are lots of changes going on both nationally in Louisiana and higher ed that are even separate from the budget, so we tried to portray some of those changes and try to portray some of the Board of Regents uh, strategies uh, to move forward. That's what we were talking about. The conversation, and that's what it was, was a conversation about reimagining higher education. And as opposed to focusing specifically on Louisiana, I took, tried to take a big, a, sort of a national perspective. Essentially, the conversation was there's disruption occurring in higher education. And we've got to figure out how to catch up because if we don't, you know, we're going to go out of business. We are a sector that has, as its, its cost have outpaced healthcare cost. And, and frankly, parents, students, state governments, federal government have all said, we're not willing to invest a lot more. So it's unsustainable. The beauty, though, is I was very optimistic about how we could work together to get ahead of the changes that are coming. And so that was really the conversation. It was to be futuristic, looking forward, how can we do more to make higher education useful uh, to the people who pay for it and to the people who benefit from it, specifically the students and their families. We are supporting Louisiana's efforts to focus on college completion. And so Complete College America is a national organization that focuses on helping more states get more students to complete college or gain certificates while making sure that we close the achievement gap in higher education. And so there's a lot of work that's being done in Louisiana and Louisiana is part of our alliance of states and so we're excited to be here. We talked about uh, 30, 30, Think 30, which was a big one. That means let's try to figure out how to get students entering college to take 30 credit hours takes 120 to graduate, so they would graduate in four years. That saves the state money, it's, but more importantly, it saves the student and their parents money, and it gets them in college for the purposes of what they want, an education, and gets them out in four years. That, that was probably the main attraction today. And then the others were talking about the other responses uh, to 619. Uh, such as Think 30, the tops, uh, having, you know, credit hours for tops and how the top, we should look at tops in the future. And one that is dear to my heart was uh, unification. And that is the colleges that are in regionally together, uh, for instance, uh, in New Orleans, how Southern University of New Orleans, University of New Orleans, uh, Delgado all close together, that we should try to get them on a, a path where they start buying their food services together, where they uh, can have one maintenance contract, uh, where they can have one back office perhaps, or particularly in financial aid. Uh, operations can be done in a single unit, but we want them to come up with suggestions of how can we work together, maintain our own identity, but work together to be more economical, be more efficient. One of the things we like to do is to move students through to graduate in four years. We think uh, it, it makes sense from the perspective of student debt. You're not paying for five or six years, gets them into the workforce. Try to use those that last year in high school to take even more college credit in a, in a rigorous fashion. We're also talking about trying to lower the cost of attendance to students by utilizing open source or the cloud instead of textbooks. So there's a lot of different things that are out there. We as an organization has, have been working with multiple states on 15 to finish, which is the same thing as Think 30. It's the, the concept is making sure students know what it takes to graduate on time. And so the state is one of our scale states. They've committed to, uh, to having a number of institutions show videos at new student orientation, share why it's important and the return on investment, not only to students, but to their families, so that they can understand that there's an exceptional cost to not finishing on time. And I think that's gonna be a huge win for Louisiana. 
college and universities are changing today. We're not as well financed as we used to be. Years ago in Louisiana, we had 75% support from the state and 25% was put up by the students, parents, in the form of tuition and fees. Now it's just the opposite. 75% or more comes from the students and the parents and less than 25% from the state. And by the time the universities pay the mandated money back to the states, it's even less than that. So there has to be change. We have to decide what we can do to become more efficient. And that's the whole purpose of the Board of Regents right now. We want all of our colleges and universities to, su to survive. So we want to help them look to the future. In terms of a message for our institutions, it's we have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Change is absolutely the name of the game now in higher education. I can't use this word enough disruption. And if you want to use an example, a couple of years ago, cabbies, they had sort of, if you needed a car to get somewhere, you took a cab. Now there's Uber. Now there's Lyft. There was total disruption. And this is going to happen in higher education. And I know we've, we've resisted it and we've poo-pooed and we said it won't occur, but it's happening right before our eyes and it's going to happen sooner rather than later. So I'd rather our community be, or our sector, that is higher education, be engaged in helping us describe and what it's going to look like in the future as opposed to responding to what others say it will look like in the future. I'm excited. I think that the work that's being done, the team that's been assembled, um, and the faculty and staff have always been committed to our students. And this is not something that's just going to increase our economic returns as a country, but it's a place where higher education has been a place that changes lives. And so making sure that we think about how we get more students through college is going to be important not only for Louisiana, but for the country.